What's going on guys? Abraham here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my worship backpack. Let's talk. As a worship pastor you have to be ready for anything and whatever comes your way. And what better way than with an awesome backpack and the right tools to get you through any situation. Now personally I have an unhealthy obsession with backpacks. It's something that I just can't seem to stop buying and can't get enough of. But trust me, take my word, I think that I have found the perfect backpack for worship pastors. I'm talking about the Timbuktu Spire Laptop Backpack. Now, why is this the perfect backpack? It's the perfect backpack because it's not too big and it's not too small and it holds everything that I need on any given Sunday to get through successfully. Now, you might be saying it looks a little big, but trust me, in comparison to other backpacks, it's not. The thing that I hate the most is looking like a middle school kid on his first day back to school with every book from calculus to geometry in his backpack. I can't stand a big backpack. But I also understand that as worship leaders and worship pastors, we need to have a backpack that can carry everything that we have to and everything that we need to get us through a Sunday service successfully. And in this case, it is this backpack right here. Now, this backpack is pretty cool for many reasons. It's got one main compartment in the front, right here on the top, uh, and inside it has a compartment for your laptop, for your iPad, and it also has a couple other smaller compartments here, one right here on the side and one right here in the front. It also has a place for you to hold your water bottle right here, and not just that, but it has a bunch of bands throughout the backpack so that you can attach different things. Specifically in my case, as you can see here, I have this little tag right here and this is where I put my keys on Sundays because trust me, I'm losing my keys all the time. Now the first tool that I carry with me every single Sunday is the CRKT9070 Guppy. Now this is a multi-tool right here as you guys can see this is a multi-tool and there are other multi-tools on the market but for me this is probably the best one that you can get as a worship pastor because one of the price two it's really compact and three it just looks really really cool now it has a couple features as you can see right here it's got a knife this is awesome because as worship pastors we love opening sweet water packages and guitar center packages so this can get any package open right there and it also works for cutting cable ties or uh, cutting even open cables so it's always good to have a knife on hand uh, one of the things that really sold me on this is the wrench that it has right here. So if you twist this little nut like this, it opens up the wrench and if you twist it the other way, it closes it up so that way you can tighten and loosen things on stage. Trust me, I thought I was never going to need to use a wrench, but I've used this multiple, multiple times throughout the last two years. And on the back side, it has a little uh, compartment, a little uh, holder, uh, as you can see right here. It is detachable, so it, it's stuck on with magnets, but it is detachable and it holds four different bits, two cross bits and two uh, flathead bits. Now, they're each different sizes, but basically the way it works is whenever you're ready and whenever you, you know, let's say you're on stage and you need to tighten something or you need to loosen something, what you can do is you take out the bit, you put it on the top part of this uh, tool, and when you're ready, you just go ahead and start tightening or loosening whatever it is that you need to tighten or loosen. When you're done, basically you just take it off the top, you put it back in the compartment and you're ready to go. Now it also has a flashlight. It's not the best flashlight, it's not the strongest for sure, but it'll get the job done in case you drop something or you know, you're know you backstage, it's dark and you need to get around. This is, you know, it, it can get you by. Now there are a couple ways you can carry this tool. It has a little carabiner right here on the side, so you can uh, use this to strap it onto your pants or even to the side of your backpack maybe if you want. It also has a clip on the back uh, that again, you can kind of attach to your pants or you know anywhere else. But for me, I kind of just throw this in my backpack and I know that it's right in the front compartment and it's ready to access at any time. Now moving on, the next thing that I carry with me every single week in my backpack is the Backsmart Electronic Organizer. Now the reason that I got this off of Amazon, and I'll include every link to everything that I'm talking about down below in the description, but the reason that I got this product is because I needed somewhere to store all the little cables that kind of were just floating around in my backpack. Now when you open it up, as you can see right here, there's space to store different cables, and in my case, I don't just store cables, I also store this Anchor PowerCore 13,000 portable charger. Now this is awesome because you don't understand how many times I'm ready to go, ready to start service, and all of a sudden I realized I didn't charge my iPad the night before. Well, I just pull this out and I connect it to my iPad and I'm good to go. I have enough juice to get me through the rest of the service. I know the stronger and more powerful power bricks out there, but in my case, this one is the right size because it's small, it's compact, and it's got just enough juice. 
The next thing that I always use is the Chiffon, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but the, the Chiffon Multi USB Charging Cable Short. Now this is an awesome, awesome tool to have because there's always little cables as worship pastors, we encounter this all the time, that you need either for a GoPro or that you need for you know another kind of camera or you need for your iPad or you need a micro USB, mini USB, whatever it may be. And it's annoying to have to carry all those cables around. Well, this kind of solves it for you. You got one USB right here, as you can see, and then you have a bunch of different other adaptations that you can use uh, from USB-C to uh, micro USB to mini USB. It's got a bunch. Anything that you could probably need as a worship pastor, you just plug this up even to your anchor and you're good to go. And speaking about cables, as worship pastors and worship leaders, we encounter cables all the time. And I'm not just talking about those little cables. I'm talking about XLRs, I'm talking about quarter inch cables, and it's important as worship pastors that we stay organized. Therefore, I always, always, always carry with me these Velcro brand one wrap cable ties. Now, you can carry just normal cable ties or zip ties, but in my opinion, these are awesome because they're really cheap and they come in a pack of like 100 or 200, I don't even remember, it's, it's a bunch that they come with. I always carry two of these little, I call them donuts, uh, with me in my backpack. Basically, they're just a bunch of cable ties uh, that are um, Velcro together, and whenever you're ready, you kind of just pull on this, okay? And then you yank it off of the other ones that are there, and you're ready to go. You can use this to uh, organize your cables, you can use this to organize cables, not just that you're storing, but even on stage. You pull it through the loop, and there you go. As you can see, you're ready just to Velcro, and you are ready to be organized. Now at my church, I'm not just the worship pastor, I'm also the worship leader, which means that I have the privilege to be able to lead the congregation in worship. In other words, I get to sing as well. So for me, it's very important that I carry my microphone everywhere because I don't just sing at one church. I'm also the worship pastor at a Hispanic church at night. So it's easy for me to just stay on the same microphone because I know what it sounds like. I know that it's gonna be reliable. So I carry this with me all the time. I'm talking about the Shure QLX D2 with the KSM9 head attached to it. As you can see, I have it right here. I take this with me everywhere. It comes with a little Shure pouch when you buy it. So I just throw it in the pouch and I'm ready to go. Now I use the KSM9 head a lot when I'm preaching, whenever I have to speak, uh, pick up offering, whenever I'm preaching, whatever it is, I use the KSM9 because I love how it sounds. It's very versatile, so you can also use it to sing. But for me personally, if you're gonna be singing, and if it's in the budget, I know it's gonna be a little bit on the expensive side, but trust me, after doing a lot, a lot of research, my church and I have come to the conclusion that the best microphone head on the market for singing is the DPA de facto 4018 vocal microphone. Now, this microphone, man, I am telling you, it is the best of the best. I've used a bunch of other microphones in the past, and at different churches, I use different microphones, but this one is the best. It comes in this little pouch, and basically, when you open it up inside, it has the head. Now, you can buy the wired version, uh, which will have a base, but for me, I actually just bought the version that uh, goes onto any Shure mic. So basically, when I take my KSM9, I just unscrew it, and then I screw this on top, and it's the de facto. This thing is incredible. I highly recommend anybody out there that uh, is singing and that's singing frequently, if you're willing to invest and have something top quality at your church, I recommend that you get this microphone head right here. It's really awesome, highly recommend it. And speaking about singing, at both of the churches that I work at, we use in-ear monitors. So if your church uses in-ear monitors, I recommend that you get 64 audio custom in-ear monitors. Again, I understand that they're a little bit more on the pricier side, but trust me, it is worth the investment. I used to use uh, normal Shure 215s or 425s, but recently, over the last like year and a half, I swapped over to the 64 audios, and these are the best investment that I have made. See, for me, I sing pretty much every day, whether it's at practices or whether it's at Sunday services, weekend services, mid midweek services, I'm always singing. So I wanna make sure that I have a reliable set and pair of 64 audios. There are other options out there, but again, in my opinion, these are the best that money can buy. So if you have the little bit of, of the budget, I recommend that you invest in these guys. You won't regret it. I have the A4T versions, and I can only imagine how incredible the six driver and the 12 driver and even the 18 drivers must sound. But these four drivers sound incredible. So if you're singing, if you're leading worship, I recommend you get a pair of these. Now, I also always carry with me a set of Shure 425 
in your monitors. The reason that I also carry these with me is because sometimes I tend to forget my 64 audios at the church that I sing at in the morning, and when I arrive to the other church at night, I don't have in-ears. So I make sure that I carry these with me just in case I forget my in-ears. They're also good just in case any one of my team members forgets their in-ears. I have these that I can lend them, and they don't have to go a whole service without using in-ears. Now the last two things that I carry with me every single Sunday are probably the ones that are the most essential to me. They are the 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch and the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. The MacBook Pro is essential to me because at both my churches, we run uh, tracks using Ableton. So I need a computer that's reliable. I need a computer that's not gonna be freezing up on me. So if you're planning on using tracks, I recommend that you get some sort of MacBook Pro. It can even be an older one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the most new one that's out on the market, but you should get a MacBook Pro. I've tried running tracks with the MacBook Air and it can do the job, but once you start adding a lot, a lot of tracks and a lot of layers, it can get a little tricky and a little bit slow. So again, I recommend that you get a MacBook Pro. Now, you don't have to use a MacBook. You can also use Windows computers, but for me, I've, all, I've just always been a Mac guy. Now, my iPad, I actually just use pretty much for lyrics and for chords. At my church that I sing at in the morning, we do have a confidence monitor, but the church that I sing at at night, we don't. So it's essential that I have my iPad with me so that I don't forget the chords, so that I don't forget the service order. It's just all there in one place. And that is everything that I carry in my backpack on any given Sunday. These are the tools that over the years I have found are the most essential and the most necessary for me to be able to do my job effectively. But I do want to make a point in that you don't have to have the best of the best. You don't have to have the most expensive gear to be a good worship pastor or a good worship leader. It's all about doing your best with what you got. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys found this useful. And please let me know down below in the comment section what you guys carry with you every single Sunday because I'm always looking to add different things to my collection. Don't forget, as always, to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.